here today for you is the Happy Model Larva X. So first of all, thanks to Banggood for sending me this. They are really a great supporter, I have to say. There should be a lot of stuff for my designs and my testing and so on. And this is why from time to time I do reviews of these kinds of um, ready-to-fly products for them. Uh, so thanks for that. And if you want them to keep supporting me, which I would greatly appreciate, please click on the affiliate links below. Um, but the first, as honestly, the first thing I thought when I got this was, oh my god, another toothpick, yay, there's like 50 of them by now. But I have to say, this one is really good. It really performed very well. The flight characteristics are great. And um, what I'd like to do, I, I don't like these reviews where people ramble on for like 20 minutes about the product. Um, so I try to keep it short, give you the most important information so you don't have to go through 20 minutes of video to extract a few bits of information that you actually need. So first of all, yes, flight characteristics is great. This is one of the best handling toothpicks I have ever tried. The battery that you need for this, because it doesn't come in a package, is a 300 milliamp hour 3S. This performs best, but you can also go with a 450. Um, it noticeably worsens the flight characteristics, but they are still good. Um, still pretty good on the 450. You just get more flight times and you can really push it really, really hard without draining the battery too much. But um, I mean, overall, 300 is probably the best choice for most people. It comes in a bunch of different versions. I have the version that comes with a crossfire receiver. And a really nice thing is it comes with a decent manual. Yay, uh, not a lot of these Chinese products have a decent manual like this one. And actually you get a different manual depending on which receiver you have. So it actually walks you through all the steps you need to set up the receiver and also a bunch of other stuff like updating um, ESC firmware and so on. So really good manual, that's great. Um, so this is a nice package. It doesn't have any major flaws, I have to say. Um, oh, and by the way, it also comes with some extra props. Apparently Emacs couldn't supply enough of these 2.5 inch props. So they include, included some extra HQ props. Uh, plus there is a replacement canopy in here and, and some tools. So that's really nice. And um, yeah, this, this is the package you get. It doesn't have any major flaws. I can recommend it. It flies great. Um, and this is pretty much all you need to know, to be honest. Um, but of course, uh, some of you would like me to go into some technical details, so let's do that and give you a detailed tour of how this thing is built. First thing, let's start with the frame. Uh, there's maybe, maybe one thing I don't fully like about it, because it's unnecessarily complicated, if you look at this. The, the problem is, with these designs, while they might look nice, it's impossible to cut the carbon along the weave if you do that, because the the fibers in the carbon fiber are arranged in a 90 degree angle. And this frame doesn't only have a 90 degree angles, it has all these different angles here, so it's impossible to cut it along the weave, which makes it less stiff. But it's stiff enough, um, and it's solid enough, it's three millimeters, so it performs fine, it's not really an issue. It's just not fully optimal. Um, so what I really try to do when I design a frame, like the Sanchez here, is have the, the carbon fiber running along the entire frame, all the way through without being interrupted. And it makes it super stiff, while still, I mean, you can see this frame is lighter and thinner, and I'm having a super hard time bending this at all, while here on a frame that isn't cut along the weave, um, it's way easier to bend it. But, okay, it, it still performs fine. Uh, okay, frame, uh, motors. 7000 kV, 1103 motors. Um, probably <laughs> the 7000 kV are BS. Um, I think it, it must be actually lower because a 7000 on 3S should be way overkill while this performs fine. Probably it's more like five or 6000 kV uh, or weak magnets, I don't know. But honestly, it doesn't matter. They perform fine on these props and probably on, on most other props too. So, perfect. Electronics. Um, it comes with a happy model all-in-one, the, the F4 version 3. And um, yes, happy model had problems with reliability in the past. I don't know if they are fully solved. Because to tell, <laughs> I mean, I would have to test at least 10 of them uh, just to see how much, how high the rate of 
um, boards is that actually fail. So only thing I can tell, the one I have here does work fine and is reliable <laughs> and I didn't have any issues with the ESC so far. Um, so it's not bursting in flames, <laughs> which is good. The VTX is a Happy Model Diamond VTX DVR combo. What does this mean? Um, it's not only a 200 milliwatt VTX that does have smart audio, so you can, um, oh, it's IRC tramp. In fact, you, you can set up the channel from your radio. It's already all set up in beta flight and uh, ready to do that. You can set up the, the channel and um, the power up to 200 milliwatts and you can insert a, um, an SD card. Maybe you can kind of see the SD card inside here. It doesn't come with an SD card, you need one. Uh, and then it records what's coming from this um, Runcam Nano 2, which is a really good camera. Um, of course, it looks better than just having it recorded by your goggles because, I mean, there's the transmission for the 5.8 gigahertz. You have static, you have noise. It looks nicer to have a DVR. Uh, one thing you should know, uh, you need to push this little button here for it to record and you need to push it again so that it saves the actual video file because it will delete it if you just unplug the, the battery, which is unfortunate. Maybe one of the few flaws I could find here. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> There's not much more components. There's of course the Crossfire receiver, uh, but it's just a regular Crossfire receiver. They did just zip tie it on the frame, which is a bit sloppy because it should fit under the canopy, but it's easy to fix. You can put it there if uh, you're bothered by it just being um, zip tied here to the frame. But overall, um, yeah, that's it. It does perform really well. All these components seem to be solid and work. And by the way, one nice thing I wanted to show you too is what I did with my x lite because it does... Now, I, I bought this little Banggood, or they sent me rather, this little plastic adapter here that makes it possible to run my crossfire transmitter off the x Live without any issues. So this is really nice too. I'll link this to below. Oops, sorry, that was camera. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's about what I can say uh, about this, this frame. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you have any more questions about this, please just leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Thanks, guys.